everybody i wanted to show you my newest little watercolor goodie <laughs> um i found on instagram um art tool kit and it was like a small it's only five and five sixteenths by three and three eighths but what i really liked about it was that it has multi-sized uh, pans for your watercolors and so I saw this and I impulse purchased it and I just got it in the mail yesterday it comes from Washington so it only took a couple days to get me to get to me here in Oregon but because I want to use this like right now I decided to film this video really quick and show you how it comes so um, I have my regular small travel watercolor palette here and I wanted to show you how big it is compared to what I have here. This is my Archer and Olive Journal in size B5 just so you have a sort of like size comparison and this is an 11 inch iPad Pro. So what I really liked was their package came in a very nice durable um, cardboard box. When we open, I'm already out of breath. A really sweet, thank you. Happy painting, Adrian. And so I'm really excited. Uh, it's exciting to get something made in the Pacific Northwest since that's where I am currently and where I'm from. So this palette is just basically made for, you know, watercoloring on the go. And as some of you guys know, I am getting more into my art, you know, um, background. <laughs> I'm trying to, um, you know, incorporate that more into my channel here. I'll be changing the name from Farmstead Smith to something else as soon as I, you know, figure it out. So. I want to open this with you and I was just I was just pretty impressed with how this was all sorted and that's probably the you know the thing that says what I bought so it comes in a cute little bag and I decided you can get black or you can get silver. I decided on the black because I thought it looked spiffy. It's very nice. On the back it has their logo and stuff. And when you open it, that this is what it originally comes with. And it says that you can fit 60 of these small pans see they are very tiny why i was really excited about this was because um sometimes you just don't with watercolors you know a lot a little goes a long way and um with a smaller pan you can have more colors if that's your thing these are mixing pans and you can mix also in the lid so I just, I just really liked it. So if you're someone who uses a lot of one color, you can put it in the big ones and there's the medium size and there's a the small size. I decided to purchase extra small pans because I think I want, you know, more of a choice. I thought that this would be perfect to take to, um, you know, how we're moving to the U.S. Virgin Islands. This was also um, actually in here but I already opened it. As far as this, it is, I wanna show you the size comparison to, this is just like a normal travel size watercolor kit. And it's really, you know, not much bigger. It is considerably thinner, um, which is kind of cool, cause this is a little bulky. I do like this and I will always use, you know, these. Just for another comparison for you, um, this is a B5 journal, and there is the size difference for you, and an 11-inch iPad. So, but just 
for comparison. So this is a half pan and this is their teeny tiny mini pan. And they're very thin, which I think is just fine. And the size difference is considerable. Like this, this lasts for like this half pan lasts for a really long time. Um, what's really cool also is that this back of this is magnetic. So that's how they are held into. And what's also really cool is you can configure this. And you can buy more pans or more mixing plates um, and configure it however is best for you. So I just find that really exciting. You know, I can be like, oh, well, you know, I kind of would prefer to have this mixer here. And there you go. And the magnet is pretty strong. They're not coming off. I just put it upside down. Sorry, it wasn't. Uh, they're not coming off. Um, the only thing that I did notice right away that it didn't have me like super concerned. It's not a huge deal. But um, so this curves up and I noticed that the pans, you know, go all the way to the bottom of the curve. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. But there's like a spot where I know I'm going to end up like rubbing my brush on here and that will probably make the watercolor go underneath and to the bottom. Um, kind of like, you know, spread out or whatever. It's got a really nice um, clasp and I'm excited. I want to put like stickers on it and stuff. And I think it'll be great to have lots of choices of watercolor. Um, this will be perfect. I already, you know, I have this Lucas brand watercolors, but I am broadening my horizons and I'm starting using some Daniel Smith um, watercolors in a pan. So you need empty ones to put it in. Okay, that's it. I'm really excited to use it. I'm excited to squeeze some watercolor into it. I going to link this in the description box below um, so you can check it out for yourself if you like. I appreciate you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me here and I'll see you next time which will likely be filling up some palettes.